Ubuntu 18.10 has been released, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at some of the new things in Ubuntu 18.10, Cosmic Cuttlefish. One of the first things you'll notice if you've been an Ubuntu user before is that there's now a new look and feel. Yaru is the name for the new GTK theme, and it's complemented by an icon theme, similarly dubbed Suru, and it brings a fresh new look to Ubuntu. Install time has been sped up in this release of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is using an algorithm that allows files to achieve higher decompression speeds, and this should make the install go a bit faster. Ubuntu 18.10 ships with the newest release of the GNOME desktop, meaning that you'll get all of the new features present in the GNOME 3.30 release, the most notable of which being that GNOME now uses less resources. Previous versions of GNOME have often been criticized for using too much memory, but in this release GNOME should now run on less memory than before, resulting in a snappier desktop. Speaking about snappy, snaps have some improvements of their own. In the software center, you can now find verified snaps, as well as switch between which channel you would want to source snaps from. Those channels being stable, candidate, beta, or edge. Also, there have been improvements to how fast snaps open up. The snap website now allows you to install snaps via opening the software center from the website. Settings options are now displayed according to the hardware you have installed. If you don't have the hardware for the setting, the settings won't show up. For example, if you don't have a Wi-Fi adapter, the Wi-Fi settings won't show up in the settings pane. Linux kernel 4.18 ships with Ubuntu 18.10. This means improvements for graphics card drivers and improvements for USB Type-C and Thunderbolt. Also fingerprint scanners are now supported, so if your device has a fingerprint scanner, you should now be able to unlock your device using it. Lastly, 32-bit ISOs have been dropped for more Ubuntu flavors. Ubuntu Budgie and Kubuntu have announced that they will no longer be serving 32-bit versions of their OS. Will you be upgrading to Ubuntu 18.10? If you like this video, be sure to give a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.